Hello everyone! Welcome to How to Do Things Correctly or Not with Grace Kang. Today, I'll be teaching you how to make a pinhole camera out of a shoebox. Any kind of shoebox will do as long as it can be easily sealed with a bit of tape. You will also need black paint or spray paint, a craft knife, a thin malleable sheet of metal, opaque black tape, a needle, and a pencil or pen, anything to mark lines. Let's begin! Step 1. Paint the inside of the box entirely black and wait for it to dry. Step 2. It's time to make the aperture, or opening through which light passes. Take the sheet of metal and poke the needle through it. Try to keep the size of the aperture equal to the width of your needle. Step 3. Place the sheet of metal on the surface of your box, wherever you want the lens to be. Trace around the sheet of metal with your pencil. Step 4. Cut out a small box smaller than the sheet you've traced. Make sure the aperture will be able to peek through the hole when we tape it on the inside later. Step 5. Take the sheet of metal, open the box, and place it over the hole you've just made. Tape the perimeter of the metal with your opaque black tape on the inside of the box. Step 6. Take a piece of tape and try to make a flap that will act as a shutter and keep light from seeping through the aperture when the box is not in use. I suggest taking a piece of tape folding it over itself so that the end of the tape isn't sticky, and taping the sticky area on the hole. This way, you can use the non-sticky side to lift the shutter, and stick it back on easily later. You've finished creating a box! Yay! Now I'll show you how to capture photos using your new pinhole camera. You'll need your pinhole camera, of course, some photo paper, and a lot of the black tape I mentioned earlier. You'll also need to find yourself a room that is completely dark, preferably with safe lights. Step 1. In the dark room, take out a sheet of photo paper, stick some double-sided tape or its equivalent on the matte side of the paper, and tape it inside your box, opposite to whatever side your lens is on. Step 2. Close the box and tape all openings with the black tape. Try your best to make sure that no light will be able to leak into the box later. Step 3. Take your box to wherever you want to take a photo. Once you find something you want to take a photo of, place your box in front of it with a lens facing the target. Step 4. Get ready to count the seconds and open the shutter. Depending on how bright the light is wherever you are, the time you need to keep the shutter open will vary. The brighter the lighting, the shorter your time should be. In the sunny outdoors, your time could vary from 30 to 60 seconds. Step 5. When time's up, close the shutter. Bring your camera back into the darkroom, open it up, and develop your photo. Fun fact! The orientation and size of your box will determine the field of view. For a larger field of view, decrease the distance between the hole and the photo paper. For a smaller field of view, increase the distance. And that's all. If I didn't dish out any misinformation, your photo should come out great. If not, sorry, I'm just as confused as you are.